in the realm of royal relationships, where protocol and decorum often reign supreme, there exists a heartwarming connection that stands out like a diamond in the crown, the one between King Charles and his spirited niece, Zara Tyndall. With a relationship that spans over four decades, their bond is a testament to genuine affection that transcends titles and traditions. Zara Tyndall, born on May 15, 1981, is more than just a member of the royal family. She's a ray of sunshine with a penchant for genuine connections. A christening at Windsor Castle in July 1981 bestowed upon her not just a name, but a lifelong connection with her uncle, King Charles, and then Prince of Wales, who suggested her first name. This connection has evolved into a remarkable relationship that radiates warmth and authenticity. Enter Judy James the perceptive body language expert who unveils the layers of this extraordinary bond. She reveals, unlike the carefully choreographed interactions that often define the royal family, Zara and Charles share a relationship that is unabashedly affectionate. This legendary display of public affection, often led by Zara herself, is a sight to behold. The signals exchanged through their body language are a reflection of the genuine fondness they hold for each other. Zara, often hailed as the tactile member of the royal clan, possesses an air of confidence that enables her to break through the formal barriers. She's unafraid to wrap her arms around Charles's shoulders, treating him more like a cherished uncle in need of tender care than a monarch deserving only respect. This dynamic, where Zara takes the lead, showcases her prowess in nurturing their bond. Charles's response to Zara's endearing gestures is nothing short of delightful. Surprised but undoubtedly pleased, he reciprocates her affectionate hugs and meets her eye contact with a bashful yet joyful smile. These signals of approval from the king carry immense significance. Zara and her husband Mike are known for their playful yet respectful behaviour, understanding the boundaries of their roles within the royal framework. Charles's quiet approvals assure Zara that their unique bond remains unchanged despite his transition from prince to king. As a perceptive observer, Judy notes that while Zara's gestures of affection extend beyond her uncle to other members of the royal family, her approach adapts to each individual. The love she expressed to the late queen differed in its manifestation, proving her astute awareness of when to use touch and when to opt for alternative means of connection. With Zara's uncle now having ascended to the throne, one might wonder if her affectionate rituals would adjust to the gravity of the situation. However, Charles' subtle yet unmistakable signals of approval have quelled any such concerns. The spirit of their endearing public displays remains untamed, a beacon of genuine emotion amid the grandeur of the monarchy. In a world where every gesture and interaction is often scrutinised, Zara Tyndall and King Charles stand as a testament to the power of genuine, unfiltered affection. Their bond, nurtured over decades, serves as a reminder that even within the most hallowed halls of power, the heart's language speaks the loudest. In the embrace of Zara's hugs and Charles's bashful smiles, we witness a timeless connection that transcends titles and echoes with the resonance of true love.